Hi, we're going to look at a different type of lid today where we create a strap handle and a flange on the bottom which works for the lid when you pour the teapot at your tea party so the lid doesn't slide off. This one does have a knob at the top but then it does have the open flange there that goes inside the teapot and keeps it from sliding off. So basic forms are all, these are all slab forms that are then used to combine to make the lid. So I'm going to take some of my wedged clay, I'm going to pull off a, ch a chunk of it, about a third, and then I'm going to start to use the palm of my hand and pound that slab. I'm going to thin it out to be about a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to pat, pound in different directions, so essentially I can create a circle. I can use a template or freehand it, meaning I'm not tracing around something. It doesn't have to be a exact circle. Um, some other forms become square or rectangle, depending on how you're relating it to your animal and to that space. So I'm going to remove my extra clay, take off my template, and here I have my slab. I am going to drape this, slightly round it, and set it on a piece of newspaper so it has a rounded form. My fingers are up underneath and I'm just kind of slightly bending it to give it a shallow dome. This will sit on here and drape and become leather hard. It's too plastic to work with. I'll then get more clay and I'm going to go ahead and kind of pound this into a little more of a rectangle than making it too round. So I'm going to move my hand up and down and it makes it a little bit longer as opposed to making it a circle because I'm going to work to make the part of the handle and the flange. Now here you could use a straight edge or a ruler to cut this to make it a strap handle. Again, um, rulers are an option for a tool, straight edge of a paper. And here I have my flat slab like a rectangle. I'm going to work on making this. I'm going to use, cut the ends with my metal scraper. Cut that off. And cut that off. And then I'm going to bend it and essentially create a little rainbow for my strap handle. And that's going to set up and become leather hard. It's too plastic to work with. So I'm going to remove that and let it set up along with my lid that's draped and drying a little bit. Now I need to make the bottom flange part. Same technique. I grab some more of my wedged clay and I think I have enough with this and I kind of squeezed it so it was more of a log form and then I'm going to use my the base of my hand and pound to a quarter of an inch go back and forth so it creates more of a flattened out oval longer oval and I'm going to come back with the straight edge of my paper again you can freehand it you can use a ruler or paper as a template I'm going to remove my extra clay I'm going to cut the ends for my flange. Now with the flange, unlike the handle, I'm going to go end to end. I'm going to bend slowly because the clay is going to want to crack like right there and I can also come back with my metal scraper and go up and smooth those cracks and I'm going to keep slowly bending it. I'm not going to go 0 to 100 but go slowly bending it so the ends meet and since this clay is really plastic I can push those together, put my finger on the inside and so it doesn't flatten and then just gently use my the pad of my thumb or a wooden modeling tool and just join that seam. Be careful you don't pinch it too much, you're going to flatten your nice little ring which is the flange that goes inside the teapot. So I've got my finger in now all the way supporting it so it has something underneath it. I can paddle it a little bit just to flatten and compress that and get the seams. I also want to clean up the seam on the inside. If you can see right there where there's still two pieces of clay. So I'll come in with my tool and I'm doing this now but being really gentle because the clay is really plastic and it has a memory. So I smooth that seam away but I've supported it with my fingers and then the tool compresses the clay. I'll clean it up more when it's not so plastic. So those are my three pieces. My flange, my handle and my lid. I'm going to set those aside because they're plastic and I made some before I started the video and now I can score and slip them. There's my other little, there's, here's 
my leather hard handle. So I'm going to, and I've got a smaller one, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. And now I'm going to score and slip my pieces together. So I've got this and this and this to work for my handle. If you remember, you put your score marks uh, where any two pieces of clay join. So I'm going to score here. I go down usually one direction with my marks, and then I come back the opposite direction. So there's a crisscross cross hatching. So I'm going to score there. We're going to do the flange first. I'm going to match this up and just give myself a little bit of a mark as to where I'm just put a little dot on each side and a little dot in the center as to where. So I have some dots that then show me where my lid and flange are going to connect. So I score there and make a circle of scoring marks. And then I'm going to slip and clean up my, smush it together and clean up my seams. So I've got my scoring marks, scoring marks here, and now I'm going to pad my slip in there. I score, I slip, and now I smush, smush there. Okay. So now I've got that smushed in, so it's almost like a little mushroom. Okay, and I'm going to come back with my wooden modeling tool. Clean that up. I would do that more, but you remember you remember from lots of your clay techniques, but cleaning it up so it looks like it's one piece of clay. And now I want to work on attaching my handle. So here I'm going to score and score on the bottom of my handle. This is a strap handle. I'm going to line it up here and see where it's going to attach. I might need to change the angle of how this edge is cut so it sits nicely on that. So depending on your lid, you'll want to look at that. Now I've got my score marks there, and I'm going to pad my slip. And I'm going to smush because I've scored, I've slipped, now I smush. I press that in, and then I'm going to come back with my wooden modeling tool and smooth together the seams and just make it look like it's one piece of clay. That will also help the connection or the joining. I'm going to clean up any stray scoring marks that got outside of it. I'm going to clean up any um, little excess pieces of clay that are not intentional ones and really clean up my lid. I'll do more of that while you're working on your lid and I'll clean up my lid. I do want to kind of round the edges of my handle a little bit more. We talked about that. You can also take the metal scraper and just round the edge. Now, I wouldn't be able to do all this if the clay was plastic, but since it's leather hard, I can clean it up and I've kind of rounded that edge so it doesn't look like this edge straight from cutting the slab. I would, as I said, I would do more cleanup, but I'd like for you to start making your lid. Have fun. Thanks for watching.